Hey everybody, it's Ty Inspire and welcome back to the channel. I am so excited today about this interview. I am at the office of Amend, which is a nonprofit slash NGO here in Ghana. And they are doing some amazing things that I can't wait to tell you about. I first um, was introduced to them through actually a Facebook group. They posted an initiative that they have going on that I thought was really, really amazing. So we're going to talk about it today. I have some of the staff members here with me. I'm going to let them introduce themselves so we can get started with this conversation. Cool. So we'll start here with you. All right. So I'm Edna Norte, the program officer for Amend Ghana. Yeah. And what do you do here? Yeah. So um, with my work or yes. with Amend? Yes, with, with Amend. Mm -hmm. So with Amend, um, I'm in charge of programs. Any program that had to do with, um, we, we specialize in receivity. Mm -hmm. So then anything that has to do with the schools, mm -hmm. developing the program itself in the implementation as well, um, we do some assessments before our project. Mm -hmm. And then we have quite a number of projects that we work on. Uh -huh. So maybe if you want details, I can give you. <laughs> okay. but since you're doing the introductions, I'll leave it. Okay. To well, we, yeah, I'll let you give us a little more of that when we talk about a men. Sure. Yeah. So let's introduce this handsome fellow next to me. <laughs> All right. So I'm Providence Kogan, and I'm the head accountant for a men. Okay. So everything that has to do with money. Mm -hmm. so, oh, okay. And I'm also uh, in charge of programs that we implement in Francophone countries because I speak French. Okay. So a bit of what Edna does, but in you know, front of the country. Okay. So, All so right. I help with that too. Well, then you're busy, huh? Hey? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> busy, busy. Very yeah. good. So what what um, should my viewers know about Amend? What is Amend? Okay. So Amend is a non-for-profit organization or mm -hmm. um, NGO mm -hmm. that um, focuses on child safety mainly. Okay. Our work, our work um, is around schools most of the time but then we also have programs that has to do with um, the vulnerable road users of which children are part and um, motorcyclists as well so we consider motorcyclists in some of our projects and um, we our work covers road safety education we do a bit of um, infrastructure improvements around school areas mm -hmm. and that uh, falls under our major uh, one of our major projects we call SASAI Okay. So, yeah, that's a school area road safety assessment and improvement. Okay. And when it comes to SASA, we implement things like um, zebra crossings, okay. walkways, mm -hmm. we have um, um, the, the road signs also installed, depending on the situation on the ground. So we do our pre-assessment, mm -hmm. we implement and do post-assessment just to evaluate. Mm -hmm. And we also have um, projects like um, kids a uh, road safety panel mm -hmm. which you got interested in yes and then we also um, have projects like road safety clubs and all that which ranks in other countries but we are yet to implement that here in Ghana we have an interesting one called VIA okay yeah that one is a bit of um, uh, road safety education but it's in a fun and then more relaxed manner. <laughs> okay. For so adults. They, yeah, for, for adolescents. Uh-huh. Yeah, between the ages of 14 to 18 years. Okay. Yeah, so All right. That, that's cool. That sounds <laughs> amazing. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, so uh, Amen is an American uh, non-profit organization. Okay. We, have, we deal mostly in Africa mm -hmm. because it has been shown through research that African roads are the most dangerous. Mm -hmm. So we have offices in Tanzania, Mozambique and Ghana. Wow. But we work across the whole yeah. of Africa. Hold that. Okay. Wow. That's a lot. So just three places, three countries in Africa you have offices. But yeah. yeah. That's a big, big, 
Big job then, hey. A lot of um, places to cover. That's a lot to do Exactly. I would I would think so. And and just very good, I think. Yeah, good yeah. work and, yeah. and needed. So and more safety is a, a big issue, you know. Yeah. It's a public health issue. Now yes. Because people are dying. We have um one point three five million people dying annually. And that's mm. that's a lot of jet. Yeah. It's serious. Yeah. 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 Serious. Definitely. So we have to do something about that. Yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. why you're here. So the program that I was most interested in, of course, I'm interested in all of them because I think it's so great, is, is the Kids Road Safety Panel. Is that correct? So tell us about this, um, this panel. How does it work? Yeah. Uh, all right. Do you want to so, stop? Okay. Why stop? <laughs> so this um, program started in Mozambique. Okay. Actually. So one of our colleagues in Mozambique saw an article about kids um, judging adults, mm -hmm. and she in decided to implement the, the the idea in Mozambique. So it's about um, so it's a road safety program where we're trying to empower kids because they're the most vulnerable. Also. Mm -hmm. Especially in Africa, because they walk to school mm -hmm. at a very tender age alone. Yes. Right? yes. So we're trying to empower them to speak yeah. up to road safety issues mm -hmm. and also to be aware of how to get to school and have their own safety. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, we're also trying to speak to the drivers. Yes. So trying to like what's the expression? Use one of those kids who works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. exactly. So that's what we're trying to do. Uh -huh. So we basically select the school. Mm -hmm. We go in, um, do road safety education to the whole school. Okay. And then we select a few students. Okay. Generally about ten in the school, mm -hmm. and we train them specifically to be able to speak up to adults. Oh. What happens is, um, in collaboration with the police. Mm -hmm. We catch some drivers around the school that are committing offenses, mm -hmm. and then we bring them into the school where there's a bunch of kids in front of them wow. asking them questions about what they did and how that could have affected them. Wow! So that's what happened. Now in Ghana, the police we have challenges with the police getting involved in the program. So what we did is we had some drivers from the Drivers Association mm -hmm. who came in mm -hmm. and were educated by the children. Mm -hmm. So the only difference is they were not caught live I like see. we did in Mozambique and Tanzania. Oh, okay. But still, um, they, what was nice is we didn't tell them that it was a, they were going to be educated by kids. Oh, So we, they wow. just come and then we have a uh, conversation with them about, okay, what are the the offenses you generally commit yeah and then they they tell us and then they just enter in the room and there's a bunch of kids that are asking them questions <laughs> and educating them about what they should have done what they, should, they didn't do what the law says right. about these offenses so, yeah. so then they're totally surprised at that totally, yeah. totally. like do i really have to answer these questions <laughs> coming from these kids exactly. yeah wow i i can imagine that it's a bit of humiliation there but I think good humiliation, mm -hmm. yeah. where it's bringing awareness to them, exactly. like this this kid, I, this could have been you, you know, mm -hmm. that I hurt. Like you said, um, the ones that are less vulnerable, like they're they're most vulnerable, sorry. Um, and oftentimes they don't have a voice, so you're empowering them so much by just giving them a voice. I think that's so great. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. The exciting bit is that. Um, because we taught them about the road traffic regulations, mm -hmm. and mostly we consider the laws within the country. Mm -hmm. And for Ghana, we, we have a road traffic regulation, so we picked on the most common offenses that usually happen. And mm -hmm. we, we taught the children about mm -hmm. them, yeah. so they knew the law of head, and right. then they could quote it to them yeah. that this is this is it. this is what the law says yeah and then did you know about it so mm -hmm. it was exciting for your daughter or your son educating you on what you should have done exactly yeah 
Wow. And the parents must be proud. How? Yeah. What is the reaction from the parents oh, when their children get selected to do something? Happy. Yeah, happy. Yeah. Yeah, happy. I think one of the students, uh, their parents, um, came around anytime we're during the training training mm-hmm. session. So happy to see their yeah. their awards being part of the panel. Yeah, yeah that's great. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. That's yeah. awesome. Good. So, how often does this panel take place? Okay, so actually, this is the first time we're doing this in Ghana. Mm-hmm. There's a pilot. Mm-hmm. So we've had talks with stakeholders, the major stakeholders um, in, in road safety, the police, the education service, mm-hmm. um, the National Road Safety Authority, mm-hmm. and some other um, relevant stakeholders that we've been working with. And um, this, we're given the opportunity to pilot this. Okay. So then this is just a pilot phase. Mm-hmm. But it's also a project that demands a lot of um, funding. Okay. So when we get funding for it, then we can push for more and scale it up. Exactly. But it's just to see how it works. Yeah, right. And adapt it to our system. That's good. So right now you're just working with one school. Yes, yeah, so, so we, we actually work with two schools for the pilot. Okay. Of which um, we are two. Okay. Yeah, we are two with them. We had one school in Accra mm-hmm. and one in, in Tema. Oh, okay. Community eight. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. Good. So I'm hoping that you're getting some some positive feedback yeah. and the funding that you need. So guys, <laughs> we have to support this initiative um, however we can. They yeah. have a website. Yeah, we do. Have right. A where you can go and you can donate so please go and donate to can you donate to the specific initiatives yeah. or okay if you want if you give us money and say you want us to use it just for this you have to do it mm-hmm. so okay yeah. all right so if you think that this is something that is good please take a moment right now <laughs> and go to the website and please donate so that this can be something that we see on a regular basis here in Ghana. I think it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. So I have like a little pamphlet here and it tells all about the program. We call it Kids Courts. Yeah. And, there, and there is even a kids judge yes. as well. <laughs> wow. So cool. Yeah. yeah, so cool. So as you can see, the name here is Kids Courts. Mm-hmm. So it started initially with the name Kids Courts. Mm-hmm. But um, through consultations with the mm-hmm. stakeholders, mm-hmm. we had to rename in Ghana. In Ghana. Okay. So that's how come ours is called the Kids, Kids Road Rose. Safety Panel. Mm-hmm. But then initially, mm-hmm. for the other countries, we still use Kids Court. Okay. Yeah. And how is it doing in the other countries? Like in Mozambique, especially, that was the first. Yeah, in Mozambique and Tanzania. Mm-hmm. So up really fast. Wow. Yeah, they've really done, good. I think, more than 10 Three. schools. Okay. Yeah, a lot of schools. It's a program that people love. Uh-huh. The police is involved, so it's more so It's more exciting when the driver actually has committed the offense and you bring him straight <laughs> to the kids. Exactly. It changes everything. So yeah. in, in Ghana, we struggled a bit with culture. Like our stakeholders are really struggling to picture children mm-hmm. telling adults uh, what to do. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So we had to make sure that we we work on the language. Mm-hmm. Like, please, please, please. Uh-huh. Everything you say. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Just so, and that's why we had to also change the name so it doesn't look like we're judging adults, but we're just mm-hmm. educating them and telling yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Educating them in a different way. Exactly. And sometimes that's what they need. What people need, I exactly. think. When you come from a different side, it's like, oh. You know, maybe now I'm going to listen, you know, Mm -hmm. because Mm -hmm. I wasn't expecting this and this is something new and different. So it's a different way to approach it. So I think that, yeah, like we have to, um, we don't want to lose the culture for sure, but we definitely want to progress. So and finding ways to progress. I think this is an amazing way to progress. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what is the outcome? for the drivers like how are they um, accepting it and moving forward now that okay. they've been in front of the panel yeah so actually right after the um, 
the panel sessions, mm -hmm. we had some of the drivers share their experiences. Mm -hmm. And to uh, <laughs> we, we were amazed mm -hmm. by what they shared. So we realized that they were actually happy that yeah. they got opportunity to participate in the panel sessions wow. because um, they didn't expect that they would have their own children educating them. Mm -hmm. And it, it looks like it really spoke to them, it got to them. Yeah. The, the message got to them. So they feel it's something that we should be doing mm -hmm. most often. And then they said they are going to also reach out to their fellow drivers mm -hmm. and then talk to them about some of these offenses that they commit. Because clearly some of them didn't even know that around school areas they're supposed to do 30 mm -hmm. kilometers per hour. Mm -hmm. wow, and it's right. one of the areas that we, we kept hammering on during the panel sessions. Mm -hmm. and, and some of them were using mobile devices while driving, of which is common nowadays, yeah. people yeah. test yeah. while driving, which mm -hmm. is wrong. Mm -hmm. People use their phones um, all the time. Yeah. But then when the children were asking them questions about those kind of offenses, like, so they, they had <laughs> to admit <laughs> yeah. that they were wrong. And mm -hmm. they felt that it's good that they were prompted about some of these, because it's destructive. Yes. Um, it's a distraction while driving and it can cause a lot of um, issues yeah absolutely i mean in many states in america it's illegal now mm -hmm. so yeah. you know yeah it's they have been really cracking down mm -hmm. you know and getting very stern about about mm -hmm. that especially texting and driving because yeah. it has taken so many lives yeah. in the last few years and even beyond um i just wanted to read one of these that i saw okay. um being questioned, this this is um, a quote, a direct quote, I think, from yeah. a driver in Mozambique. Yeah. Being questioned by kids felt really bad, and I was ashamed of myself. <laughs> it is correct to learn from people whom we are supposed to teach and protect. Wow. Yeah. 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 It's so powerful. Yeah. It is so powerful. <laughs> <laughs> this type of stuff just really like I just love this this is and it's amazing and what a lesson this this man learned. I think that he will be a much better driver from yeah. now on. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. What other programs do you think that I should um make everyone aware of that you're doing here to mint? Anything else? You mentioned one in the beginning, this S the S the S the S side. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So with SASI, um, it has to do with minor infrastructure improvement. So usually we identify um, a high risk school, mm -hmm. and um, and if you say a high risk school, like schools that record a lot of um, crashes and injuries. Mm -hmm. So then we um, pair the data that we have based on the data that we have. We identify these schools. We go to them, mm -hmm. we do uh, observational studies and then some assessments. So we do speed counts, we do traffic counts, okay. we do um, um, pedestrian counts and all that. Okay. Some surveys before and then right um, after those surveys, we try to um, design, okay. come up with a layout, what we agree, what improvements right. can we put in place to make the, the school area safe. Okay. So that if the area demands that, so we have engineers. Mm -hmm. So in Amend, we are we are we are blessed. Yeah. And we are lucky yeah. to have engineers among us. Sometimes when we do need external help, mm -hmm. we, we do call for engineers. I have a civil engineer. Yeah, I was gonna say you right. Yeah. <laughs> and then my uh, the country manager is also a civil engineer. Uh huh. So um, we have engineers in in Amend that have to look at the design, see what would work. Okay. And then also the cost bit. Mm -hmm. So then um, looking at um, infrastructure that is uh, cost effective mm -hmm. and then would also make uh, more impact. Mm -hmm. So then if it demands that we put in walkways, we do so. If it demands that we put in um, zebra crossings, we do so. Pedestrian crossings. Mm -hmm. If it demands that we do the speed humps, we also mm -hmm. do that. So for for Amend, we've been doing this SASI since 2016 in Ghana. Okay, wow. We've done about four school areas. Okay. That's four awesome. school areas. Um, like now we've done about four school areas and then the impact has been good. Mm -hmm. It's been great. Yeah. Because um, even as part of the SASI, we also do the education because you can't, 
just put in the infrastructure and then the children not knowing how to use it. Absolutely. So we, we teach them how to use it. Mm -hmm. So our Southside project also um, has a research education component of it. Mm -hmm. And then we, as I said, we have other programs that we run. The leading cause of death in, mm -hmm. in youth between the ages of 5 and 29 is, is road accidents. Wow. Or wow. So that's wow. why we consider the children yes exactly so if we are at least making them aware yes. um and giving them some knowledge that'll help a yes. little bit too especially i think um you were talking about how the kids in africa they walk to school a lot so that's where a lot of the issues are coming from yeah and they're unsupervised a lot of times. They're mm -hmm. not with an adult, they with big brother, little sister. Yeah. Yeah. You, you can find four year olds and five year olds walking to school alone. Wow. That's because they stay in the neighborhood. Their parents say, Come go, just walk. And yeah. then you see them walking along the street. And they've not been taught how to walk, what to look out for. So yeah. they just That's the difference. <laughs> just go the difference. In. See, I used to live in Japan and I would see it a lot. I would be walking to my job and there's a yeah. little four year old next to me. I'm like, This is <laughs> where's your mom? <laughs> you know? And I never thought I would ever get used to seeing that. Yeah. But yeah. um their children are really taught from an early age how right. to do that yeah. so i think that's the difference as well yeah. saying um we just have to do better yeah and we have to do better sure we're, we're teaching, teaching. Mm -hmm. yep well that is that is awesome what great initiatives you have and great work that you're doing here um is there anything that you would like my viewers to know before we close i want to start by saying like just like edna said um, the leading cause of death for people from 5 to 29 is road crashes. So it's a very important topic and people, it's, it's killing a lot of people, especially in Africa mm -hmm. and Ghana. So if you want to support um, what we're doing, we have a website, www.amend.org. Yes, and then we're also on Twitter amend underscore gh Ghana and um, on instagram amend on facebook amend you will find us um, and even if you type amend or ngo on google you get all the details and you can reach out to us and we can have a discussion on how to save lives mm -hmm. yeah. what about volunteers do you accept volunteers and people that want to help out yeah, yeah. so um, we do research education which is one of our primary programs we run all round okay year, all year round but um so during that uh, uh, bit like during that program we we have instructors mm -hmm. receive instructors so we train these people how to teach okay the, the students so anyone who would want to volunteer mm -hmm. can come around then we all learn how to train the students together then we go into the schools to do that I started as a receipt Oh, see, there you go. There you go. Exactly. It's always good to give. If you can't give with your money, then give with your time. So please reach out to this organization and let's let's do some good for Ghana, okay? All right. Thank you so much for having me and for talking to me. And um, yeah, I'll definitely be doing all I can to support as well. Sure. So please reach out to them and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. bye. <laughs>